There are two things in this world that I am obsessed with. Fragrance and football. I'm talking American Gridiron NFL football. And the season is back. This has been the most wild off season ever and I have been so excited for the season to finally get underway and it has. If you want to know anything about me, I can always tie football back to life. That being said, Ladies, it has been a wonderful hot girl summer, but your roster is a little packed and you need to cut it down to a 53-man roster. That's what the preseason is all about. Cuffing season is right around the corner, so you need to narrow down your list and figure out who is going to make the cut. Dating is rough. I, 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 I just, why do we participate in it? It's rough. But you can always put on your best, most seductive face and smell really, really, really good. These are my top 10 date night fragrances to be sexy, seductive, alluring, and most importantly, mesmerizing and memorable. Coming in at number one is Rosendo Mateau's number five. This is a sexy, sensual, amber vanilla fragrance. And just a warning, this is a gourmand heavy list because that is my favorite scent profile. And this is a gourmand that is not sugary sweet, or and it's not really a gourmand necessarily, it's not edible, but it has that vanilla in it and it's a grown and sexy vanilla. This is a memorable fragrance. This is lasting, this is unique. You don't need anything else when you have this fragrance in your collection. And what I would recommend too, since all of these fragrances are pretty strong, and for a date, especially since it's an intimate setting, or it might be an intimate setting, you don't wanna do the most. You don't wanna be too loud. You don't wanna be overly fragrant. You just wanna do a couple of sprays, maybe one on the back of your neck, on your wrist and maybe behind your knee if you're wearing a dress or a skirt, but you don't want to do the absolute most. And I would recommend wearing your fragrances at least 30 minutes before you leave so that it settles in and that those top notes start to kind of blend well into the middle notes. And again, you just have a faint cloud around you, scent cloud around you that again, isn't too much, isn't too little. It just makes a lasting impression and this fragrance will do that right out of the gate. Coming in at number two is YSL's Libre. Now, what I've done is kind of included both of these in one. I have the EDP and the Intense version. Now, these are very similar. They have very similar profiles and DNAs. However, the Intense version has a lot more vanilla. It's vanilla dominant, and so it has this beautifully sweet base and undertone. The, in, the EDP was intended to be a women's fougere, and fougere fragrances are typically found in um, vintage masculine fragrances. They're fresh, they're herbally, there's lavender, there's orange blossom. So if you want something that's fresh and inviting and especially good for the summer months, YSL Libre EDP is your best bet. But if you love, like me, you love vanilla and you can't get enough, try the intense version. You see, I have a big bottle of it because this is my jam and these on skin are amazing. Next on the list, and I have a sample of this. This is Initio's side effect and this, don't play with this one. This one should come with a warning label. This to me just smells like an episode of Grey's Anatomy where they're throwing each other around in the closet. Like it just is one of those come hither fragrances and there's no subtlety about it. It's something that if you're feeling bold, if you're feeling like the ultimate seductress and you want to convey sex in your date, get you some side effect. I mean the side effects of this 
you have been warned now I got you the original bottle does retail for a lot of money and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna put you on a little bit this is sensual obsessions this is a clone of side effect and this is from their gold line it is much much more affordable it's just as strong and long-lasting and whoo it smells just like it y'all it's it really is very 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 close and this is a an awesome brand if you can't get yourself a bottle of initio side effect and if you're holding on to your sample for dear life don't worry girl go get you some sensual obsessions aftermath next on the list for me it's a sweet girl this is a girl that is sexy and you know that she's got some spirit behind her but she's not super loud about it she's just a low-key baddie she's always on the invite list but she minds her business but you always want to know more about her and that's sensual instinct by montal you're getting that with this fragrance this has this beautiful subtle coffee praline it's sweet it's sensuous it's got um rose in it oak moss amber and cedar i love this fragrance mm. oh this is such a beautiful feminine fragrance to me i mean this is to me one of my favorites from this house the bottle is beautiful i mean it just Mm, mm. and this is something that is a very versatile date night fragrance and it's gonna just convey femininity pretty pretty vibes i i really love this fragrance next she doesn't even need an introduction she doesn't need an explanation you know her you love her and that is baccarat rouge 540. now i'm not gonna tell you anything that you don't already know it's it's one of the most if you haven't heard of this fragrance or her clones then you might be very 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 brand new to fragrance uh, to fragrances and that's great what i love so much about this fragrance is not only is it just a crowd pleasing burnt sugar-esque smell to it but the combination of saffron and ambergris it's very ambroxan ambery heavy ambergris heavy and one thing about those type of profiles is that it does come off a little bit differently on everybody so think about juliet has a gun that's an ambro that the only note in that fragrance is ambroxan and that makes it a skin scent that is unique to everybody who puts it on but it's got that smoky woodsy slightly sweet type of emission and that is what is in here now the difference between 540 and several other fragrances that get very close to it is that this uses saffron and saffron is a luxurious and very expensive note which <laughs> lends to why the price is this much but I mean it's this much for a reason and you know I was the one who was who couldn't smell this at first and I purchased the extrait version actually because that one has far more almond in it and it's just boosted but when i smell this on other people the point of this fragrance is not necessarily the opening it's not necessarily how strong is it to your nose the beauty the secret sauce the magic of this fragrance is all in the sillage it's all about how it forms that scent cloud around you you might not smell it but i guarantee when you walk by somebody when you get up close to somebody they are going to smell this they are going to get a whiff of this and they are going to say woo what are you wearing you smell delicious so i mean the hype is real y'all the hype is real so at this point you're safe getting a clone you're safe getting a dupe you're safe finding a really good deal on 540 it is everywhere and if you've been hesitant and if you haven't tried to get you a sample if you don't like it i'm not even going to argue with you but this is what i would wear um, on a date night for sure next on the list i've already talked about this fragrance before i've talked about a good amount of these fragrances but i mean this is the ultimate vanilla level up and this is nishane's annie ani annie i don't know I, I guess it's ani but let me tell you guys like this this is one of those fragrances that i have to spray every time i open it i will literally just pull it out of my closet simply to 
smell the atomizer it is mm, oh my god it is just don't just I don't even know what to say about her but Ani is the most amazing spicy vanilla spicy herbaceous vanilla that I've ever smelled it takes your vanilla collection to the next level it opens with ginger pink pepper bergamot and other green notes but this dry down is the most sumptuous scrumptious memorizing tasty vanilla it is something that mm, it is something that is unforgettable and again it projects so be careful go easy on the trigger with this one you want to smell sweet you want to smell like a grown and sexy vanilla kind of like that Rosendo Mateau number no. five but you really do not want to overdo it with this fragrance but this is a cold weather shine it's a cold weather stunner so if you are going to be in a place with either a lot of air conditioning or it's later on in the winter time your best bet is Ani hands down that is oh it's an amazing one next is going to be one that I'm sure you all are familiar with now this isn't the original this is her classy vanilla sister Delina exclusive by Parfums de Marly now this is a new one in my collection but let me tell you something. At first, I wasn't able to really get the vanilla, oud, woody base in this at first. I was too into the original. But this is a vanilla lover's just dream when it comes to mixing the mixing rose and vanilla together so if you're not a huge fan of the rhubarb that is in the original delina they substituted the rhubarb with pear here so it's a little fresher in the opening they've got grapefruit in there as well and then as it dries down the heart notes it's incense it's vetiver going to the base notes vanilla musk and evernote which is a woodsy type of uh, note you are again please go easy on the trigger with this one but if delina is the compliment getter exclusive is the one that's gonna get you pretzel it's the one it's the one whether you like delina or not it is a profile that it is a fragrance that just gets it and it's popular for a reason and it has to be on this list next we're going to talk about Casamirati Zerjoff and you know her you love her this is <laughs> come on this is the gourmand garden so if you're gonna go on a date you have to have Miss Lyra in your arsenal. This is just chocolate and not even chocolate, but just sugar and citrus blended together so well. You open with, oh, she's so on. I love Lyra. It's blood orange, lavender, so it's fresh, it's calming, it's it's different, it's bergamot, but then you've got some rose, jasmine, and cinnamon, but for me, what makes this fragrance the it girl that she is, is the vanilla, the musk, and the caramel that's in the base. Now to me, the reason why I said chocolate is because it does kind of come off a little chocolatey. You take the best of, you know, eating blood orange, a nice ripe juicy orange or a kava orange and those are redder in the flesh and they're much sweeter. If you haven't tried one, get you one out. It's like a candied orange and you take that with a delicious bite of milk chocolate, a decadent rich milk chocolate. Just dessert like you're gonna smell like dessert on this date so I would wear this um, on a date that maybe is like a, a nice I want to say a walking date but if it's more like something where you're gonna do an activity not where you're gonna be around food necessarily but if you're gonna be doing something like something low-key and chill maybe outside um, or you're gonna go watch something and you're trying to smell literally edible Lyra, y'all. Next on the list is BDK's Grise Charnel, and I just love this bottle and this packaging so much. This is the ultimate Netflix and chill fragrance. The cardamom in here, the tea, and it's fig. There's just so much good stuff going on in this fragrance. It's got a warm, comforting, cozy, 
big spoon-esque energy and that's why I love it so much. So it's one of those Netflix and chill date night <laughs> fragrances, but you can definitely, oh, this would shine in a cold weather, like a, like a snowy date night, um, a winter date night. This, you cannot go wrong with Gris Charmel. Finally, going back to smelling decadent and edible, if vanilla isn't really your speed, if chocolate really isn't your speed, how about some almond? Italica by, uh, again, another Cosmorati Zerjov fragrance. This is like, oh my gosh, this is like a Mexican wedding cake on, or a Mexican wedding cookie on steroids. This is just an almond lover's dream. It's lactonic, it's milky, it's sweet. It's a little different in profile because of the almond note. But for me, in the dry down, what makes it really cool, oh, there's this buttery toffee note too. Um, so when it dries down, it doesn't necessarily hang in your in your senses in an overly cloying or sweet way. It gives a little bit of freshness and greenness with vetiver, sorry, not vetiver, sandalwood, cedarwood, and white musk in the dry down. So it's creamy, it's a little green, it's a little fresh, and it just works. I mean, you wouldn't, I wouldn't think, but it just works beautifully. And here's a little tip. You can wear, you should wear all of these fragrances on on their own they're all stunners but of course we love to layer and you can layer Italica over Sol de Janeiro's bum bum cream number 62 which is um, salted caramel and pistachio so if you want to just if you want to smell nutty and creamy and just musky but also very sweet and gourmand and different yeah yeah get you some of this okay y'all that is my date night fragrance list let me know in the comments if these are anything that you've worn and had success with how do you feel about them what are your date night list fragrances i'm tagging y'all make your own videos i want to hear it um but as always thank you all for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye